Beverly Hills, land of the rich, home of the famous. Sure, the stereotypes exist, but what most people don't know is the truth behind the plastic. If there is anything I have learned in all my years as a plastic surgeon, it's that appearances are not always as they seem. I get patients from all over the world, from celebrities to the average everyday housewife. But there is one thing they all have in common. Everyone needs a lift. Welcome to my world. Hi, my name is Lily. I'm 22 years old and I'm from LA. I am at Dr. Kasabian's office and I wanted to do my nose because I've always been uncomfortable with it. I don't like the way I look from the sides. I've never liked any pictures taken from the side or certain angles and it's just always made me uncomfortable about it. A few of my friends have also d done their nose and they came to Dr. Kazapian as well and they're very happy with their results and when I saw the before and after it's just it looked amazing, very natural and they've been very happy with it. They're living a happier life. My friends recommended him and I've also heard uh, before a few times that Dr. Kasabian is one of the best and when I looked into him I realized that every surgery I've seen of him that he's done has been amazing and look very natural looking and that's exactly my goal. I hope that I go into my surgery and successfully um, come out with the nose of my dream and I already know I will. I'm very confident about it. Hi Lily, I'm Dr. Kasabian. Lily, nice to meet you. Welcome. Yeah. What can I do for you today? Uh, well, I'm here because I want to do my nose. I don't like how the bump is on the side, and I really want to fix that. Um, I just don't like how I look from the side. It stands okay. out too much. Okay. And I actually recently found out my friends have um, actually came to you before, and I found that they've done their chin. I wanted to know more about that. It looked really good. Sure, sure. Are you having any breathing difficulty? Um, no, um, minor, but not too much, just some mornings I can feel like some sides closing and it, that it's a little close, but it's not that big. Okay, good. I'll check that, I'll yeah. check your breathing. And how about as far as your bite, have you had braces before? Yes, I've had braces in um, middle school. Okay, yeah. and your bite is good now? Uh, yeah, like everything's good now, okay. so I'm okay. that's ready for it. Okay. <laughs> so what I want to do next is examine you, take some okay. photos, and we'll discuss. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Sounds good. Sure. Okay, breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. The chin implant's gonna sit here. Okay. Tiny incision here. Okay. Go right here. Okay. And then some fat injection in this area, and a little bit of fat. Okay, so this is what, what's going on. When I'm looking at your nose by itself, you, the reason you're having some difficulty breath breathing is the septum is deviated a little bit, okay. and at the same time, the turbinates, those are the filters on the side, those are enlarged. Those need to be shrunk down so you'll be able to breathe better. Also, when you're breathing, this area is pinching okay. in. That's called the valve collapse. So you need a little bit of support from the inside. Okay. That's called spreader gap. Some cartilage to hold it straight hold it open so that when you're breathing in it doesn't collapse yeah, it's more all right so you, yeah so you'll be breathing more comfortably especially when we're gonna be making your nose smaller getting of rid course. of the hump making it less projected okay? okay so that's that's at one at that end but okay. and also you're right on profile view when I'm looking at you mm -hmm. your nose is prominent because it has a little bit of the bump but mm -hmm. what makes it more look bigger than what it is is mm -hmm. because this whole chin and jaw is kind of going backwards, okay? Like slanted? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. So, what you've, you've done the braces, so yes. that adjusted your teeth, but okay. it didn't bring the jaw forward. Now, there's a surgery that, that does that, mm -hmm. cutting the jaw and bringing it forward. That's the ideal thing, but that's the more involved, and you kind of have to do it before having braces on. Okay. Now that your teeth have, are, you have the, Good bite. So next is the cosmetic thing. Yes. Cosmetic meaning making your the faces in three thirds, the forehead, the middle third, the lower third. Mm -hmm. So it's more proportional. Okay. okay. So that's where a weak chin, a chin implant would help to bring your profile into balance. Okay. And at the same time, I'm seeing here the overall 
this is small your jaw is small your jawline mm -hmm. is is not pronounced what i want to do at the same time is uh is do some liposuction here in order to bring, bring up around. bring up your jawline okay and the implant will bring the chin forward okay and then i would like also to see a little bit stronger jaw because it's a little bit you're you're tall your face is also into so that it's, it's it's proportional we need to make this part stronger so i want to make do some fat injection okay. in your jawline right. okay and then at the same time also just a little bit of fat injection here in the under eyes will also make okay. it nice okay. to give you like a nice like a heart-shaped face okay know? and is that going to help the bruising after so that's what my friends also discussed with me i just wanted to the fat it. injection will get rid of hollowness and also will make the Okay. Darkness underneath the eye appear yeah, less. So that's yeah. what they all just go. Okay. Yeah, I just right. wanted to clarify more right. on that. So in summary, from top to bottom, mm -hmm. the nose needs improvement both for the breathing part and cosmetically on the outside. Okay. Uh, and then, then comes the chin implant. That's to make your profile view more uh, in balance. And then the liposuction so that we can bring out your jawline mm -hmm. and do some fat injection here in order to make. The, the jaw more pronounced. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, and a yeah. touch of fat injection here in the under eye for 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 this area to make the face. Okay. Just yeah, I figured that we might need together. to do more because my friends told me that it's usually it's not just your nose; it has to correspond all together. So that's yeah. why I wanted to. Well, continue. in your case, if we just do the nose, it's still gonna look big. It's gonna look yeah. undone because there's other issues that, that would and that catches the eye because of the proportions. Yeah. So the chin is definitely, the first thing to be done, you need the chin implant. Okay. No, That's it the definitely first makes thing. sense. The nose yeah, comes second. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sounds All right. good. Yeah. Any questions for me? Uh, not yet, but looking yeah. forward to it. Okay. So the surgery takes about two hours or so. Okay. Recovery is the one week. Like this. By the time the nose is healed, everything else heals. Okay. And then uh, that's that. Sounds good. Awesome. Okay. So if you have no further questions, I, I'll have you meet with our schedulers and choose a date that's convenient. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. No, for now I'm good. <laughs> okay, great. Awesome. Nice seeing you. You too, thank you. I just met with Dr. Kasabian and he thoroughly went over everything that we're going to do with the surgery and I'm already booking it and I'm very excited because every step that he discussed with me, I agreed and I'm very excited to see what the results are going to be. Here at LiftMD, we now offer Cool Sculpting. Cool Sculpting is the leading technology for fat reduction. Freeze stubborn fat away with the Cool Sculpting procedure. You will see results as early as three weeks. Once those fat cells are gone, they're gone for good. Now, in just one hour, we can treat two areas with the dual sculpting process. There are no cuts, there's no downtime, and you can literally go back to the office as soon as you're done with your treatment. It's really a special treat. super excited for my surgery today. Um, I've been waiting for this day for a very long time, so I'm not nervous at all. I know I'm in great hands with Dr. Kasabian, and I can't wait to see the results. I'm super excited. Good morning, Lily. Good morning. How are you? Good, good, how are Today's the day. Yes. All right, let's go over the plan. Okay. So first, gonna start with the rhinoplasty. Gonna make your breathing better, and also cosmetically improve by getting rid of the hum making the tip a little bit finer. Okay. Next, the chin implant goes in. Tiny incision here. This is gonna go on the bone underneath your tissues. And then gonna do some neck liposuction to give to bring out your jawline. Yeah. Better contouring, okay. okay? And in profile, it will give you better proportions. Okay. And some fat injection on your face, in the under eye, in the lips area, in the jawline, so that, again, things look more proportional. Of course. All right? <laughs> Um, any last minute questions for me? No, no, let's get started. <laughs> yeah, okay, just when you wake up, you're gonna, the surgery should take about two hours. Okay. Uh, you wake up, recover for an hour or so, and then you go home. When you wake up, you're gonna have a splint on, packing inside your nose, but you'll be able to breathe through it. Okay. Okay? 
All right. So if you have no further questions, we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, no. Okay. No, I'm good. Getting ready to start Lily's surgery, her surgery consists of a rhinoplasty, chin implant, neck liposuction to bring out her jawline, and some fat injection to bring things into balance. Surgery should take about two hours and she should do very well. It's been two and a half weeks today after my surgery. I'm on my feet doing all my regular activity and friends, family, they're just so amazed with the work. I would recommend to everybody with this result. Thank you so much, doctor. Just got done with Lily's surgery. Everything went very well. She's recovering nicely and I'll see her in follow-up tomorrow. They look amazing, they look super natural, and they are exactly the size I thought they were gonna be. Now I feel super confident in my bikinis when I'm on stage performing. So if this is something you're considering, I would say go for it. got myself a makeover at Gloss Studio and I feel really good about it because I just thought you know now that the swelling is gone I feel great about it I feel very happy it's like a huge weight is off my shoulders so I thought uh, why not get a little makeover and feel good about myself um, in the beginning I was a little nervous um, I was ready for the surgery, but at the same time, I had that little gut feeling that, like, what if? But everyone made me feel so comfortable. My friends and family were there with me the entire time to support me, and, like, my doctor was great. He was, I was very comfortable with him. I trusted him. I knew already deep inside that it's going to come out great. And everyone just made me feel really good, and the results were amazing. The results took about two weeks. Uh, at the end of two weeks, everything, all the bruising, everything was gone. I felt already that I could see a difference. And I, even though it was really swollen still, I felt really happy about it. It does take a year for the results to fully show, but I already, um, I see minor changes every day and the it, every day gets better and better. And the, the comments I'm getting from people are amazing. They say it looks super natural and that a lot of people don't even know I got surgery. Hi, Hi. Lily. So great to see you. Thank you, you too. You look fantastic. Thank you. I, I love the it. hair <laughs> and, the, so <laughs> and the makeup. Yeah, that looks really nice. Thank you. So we're three months now. Yeah, I love it. Everyone's telling me like it looks so natural already. I love it. I'm very yeah. happy. I'm glad we did what we did. Besides doing the nose job, which was what was bothering you, but also adding the fat injection and the chin implant brings yeah, things overall, into proportions. It. Yeah, and that's what makes it look complete. nicer. Yeah, complete. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. I like that. And how, so, how's your breathing? It's good. Yeah, it's getting better every day. Like, yeah, because initially <laughs> it gets it's stuffy till yeah, the swelling comes is, down, and then you'll start breathing better and better. So what I'd like to do next is examine you, see how your incisions are healing, and also check your breathing and take okay. some photos, all right? Yeah, that sounds good. Everything is healing really well. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. In the next few months, you're going to be seeing more of the results coming in as the swelling comes down. Yeah. Actually, you're going to see improvements up to a couple of years. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, the, the breathing also should get better. That, that periodic stuffiness it should, okay. it should go away. All right. And then, uh, do you have any last minute questions for me? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, everything is changing daily. so. I'm good. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Then, uh, then I'll see you in follow-up in a few months, okay? In okay. three months. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. good. Fantastic. So you. good to see you. You too. 
I would definitely tell someone who's getting a rhinoplasty surgery to go for it and to not second think it. I definitely feel more confident every day. Um, it's like a huge weight has been lifted on my shoulder. I don't even think about it anymore. It was in my mind every single day. I was very self-conscious about it. And now I'm very happy every day. It's, it's great. I would like to uh, tell people that want to get the surgery that it's okay to be a little nervous and scared. Like it's natural, I was too. But at the end, you're gonna be very happy and you're gonna feel great that you did it and you'll, you won't have any regrets, especially with Dr. Kasabian. He makes you feel very comfortable. I say that overall, if there is something you want to do in your life to make yourself happier and live a like better life, then you definitely should do it because it's your life. You want to live it comfortably and be happy about it and never feel ashamed or self-conscious about yourself.